Oh, most favorite? Probably. I liked all the stuff in the locker room. His brother, the mayor over here, his name's James Holloway. He's my second in command. Jay? Jackie Robinson and Willie Mays. Why don't you shake the man's hand first before you start asking difficult questions like that? I just want to know where the man's coming from. As an actor, you want to be able to improvise and do your own thing and, 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 and create and do take after take of just letting loose, letting stuff go. So I think that locker room. But there were several different scenes. Who's Franco? Forget it, man. Huh? Forget it. You're ignorant. But also the, the ballroom scenes were great, too, except I wasn't a fan of the makeup. <sighs> Having to age to 70 is no fun. <laughs> I like the beginning of the dance scene where like, you know, I come home and it's my birthday. Well, right this is the prison I won't ride here. Well, you wanna ride here? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> right Kiss here. Kids down. It was nice because we were so connected and it was a bit, you know, and, and we were so relaxed and just sharing our lives. We would like to be served, please. I think the sit-in where Yaya's character is spit on. Right. I think that that, that was just uh, unbearable for me to direct, unbearable for her to sort of portray and unbearable for that little white girl to, to do. Getting really spit on because it didn't look right from her spitting something else, so they really spit on her. And I mean, that was just brutal to watch. It just kind of dropped you into how real things were and it reminded you that, okay, I can get through this and then just acting, you know, this is nothing compared to what people really went through, sure. but it still was um, very uncomfortable. Lewis, what is that? For me, it was uh, the Freedom Bus, partly because uh, the authenticity of the film. Turn the bus! We shot on an actual bridge where, you know, people had been hung and, and, and lynched. Just people in those Ku Klux Klan outfits and the extras had to be whipped up into a frenzy of racist epithets. And, and it got so loud and so hot and uncomfortable in the bus that even when Lee was shouting cut, people couldn't hear him. So it just went on and on. And you literally, you know, a, a, a assistant directors had to be waving to say cut. So you just, for a moment, it felt out of control enough that you went, ooh, I just got a sense of what it must have been like. 